centrifugal pump. Today we would like to discuss about Euler head. So Euler head is the theoretical head that can be uh, created by centrifugal pump. So in this topic, torque is defined as the angular momentum rate. And normally angular momentum is defined as mv and r. To calculate angular momentum rate, so we have rate here, so we use mass flow rate m dot instead of mass only. So to calculate the angular momentum rate, we are multiplying mass flow rate times tangent velocity and times radius. So we could say that angular momentum at inlet is m dot v will 1 and r1. And angular momentum at outlet is m dot mass flow rate v world 2 and r2, which is m dot here is the mass flow rate. And then we need to calculate the changes of angular momentum rate. So the torque here is the changes of angular momentum rate. So we uh, deduct momentum rate at outlet minus momentum rate at inlet. So why we deduct 0.2 minus 1? Because this is a pump. Pump means a part that increase energy in the flow. So mean when water flow from the point 1 here to point number 2 here, the energy at point number 2 is uh, larger compare is higher compared to energy in point number one that's why we deduct point two with number one so we substitute the value of m dot with rho av or with rho q so we could write this equation to into p rho q v will 2 r2 minus v will 1 r1 and then we also could de define that power is torque times rotational speed, T and omega. And from these terms, we could get that T is equal rho Q, V will 2 R2 minus V will, minus v will 1 R1 omega. And then as I uh, explained in previous lesson, the omega here is in radian per second. However, the velocity here, v will 1 here, uh, will describe in meter per second. So we need to change the unit here, r omega here, into the uh, linear units. So we know that u is equal to r omega and u1 can be written equal to r1 omega and u2 equal r2 omega and then we could simplify this one we have r1 equal u1 over omega and r2 equal u2 over omega and then we substitute in this term r1 and r2 here and then the value of omega here can be cancelled out so we could say that power is equal to rho q v will 2 u2 minus v will 1 u1 and then, as we discussed in previous lesson, the general equation for power is rho gqh. Now, we could equalize this term with this term. The value of h must be maximum to produce a maximum power. Assume that there are no energy losses in the system. Maximum power is an ideal condition. We could substitute H as HE. It is called as Euler head. Because there is no losses here, there is no energy losses, and the H is the maximum, so the Euler head here is actually the theoretical head of the pump. So we could write that P power equal to rho g q h e the euler head the theoretical head is the equal is equal to rho q v will 2 u2 minus v will 1 u1 then we could sub, uh, we could mention that 
Euler head here, H E is equal to 1 over G, which, which is G is the gravity. 1 over G V equal to U2 minus V equal 1 U1. And Euler head, H E here is known as Euler head. The unit is in meter. So this is an ideal head produced by the impeller in pumping system. Ideal here means that there are no losses at all. This is the Euler head, as uh, we mentioned previously. It is equal to 1 over G, V equal to U2 minus V equal 1 U1. And this is the ideal head of the pump. If we look uh, to this equation, to have maximum value of Euler head here, we must make sure that world velocity V equal 1 here mean V equal 1 at the inlet is equal to zero. We cannot have u2 or u1 equal to zero because u2 and u1 is the rotational speed, the linear rotational speed of the blade. So the only possibility to have uh, to have maximum value of Euler head here is to reduce the value of v1 and v1 here is occur because of the turbulence that occur at the inlet. So means that if we could design our impeller blade at inlet very well, and we could design the inlet or the suction pipe, the eye design of the pump very, very well, we could reduce the possibility of whirl or turbulence occur at the inlet. So, Normally, nowadays, engineers are capable to design a uh, pump that do not have any turbulent velocity here. So means, normally, in our calculation, we could assume that V world here is equal to zero. So what happens if V world equal to zero means we have no uh, component velocity of V world here, so and then the velocity triangle at the inlet will become like this. So at this moment, we assume that V1 is equal to Vf1. That's why in my previous slide, I show you the backward, the radial and the forward velocity triangle with the triangle of inlet without V1 here. So please, uh, Make sure that you could draw a velocity triangle with and without the V1 here. However, it depends on the question. If the question asks you to calculate V1 here, so means the world velocity or the turbulent velocity is occur at that situation. If there are no, uh, this the question didn't mention any condition. You, it is okay for you to assume that V1 or uh, turbulent velocity is equal to zero.